Hello once again. Welcome back to Smart Contract Labs. So in today's lecture, we are going to talk about the ticket system, that how we can design a smart contract based on ticket system and create it as a decentralized one. So what is ticket system? So ticket uh, ticket system may be, uh, uh, may be used uh, uh, for an event and maybe for selling um, uh, selling uh, movie tickets or maybe for concerts and so on. So we have different ut utilities of ticket system. So uh, how we can design a smart contract. So for designing a smart contract, we can have these three functions that I have mentioned here. So we can have an issue ticket function that issue uh, the tickets based on the event ID. And we also check whether the ticket is valid or not while providing the access to a particular event to that user. And we can also transfer the ticket ownership because if, if you have a ticket and you want to um, transfer this ticket to some other person, you can do that by using this function. And and so these are the basic functionality that we can provide in this decentralized ticket system. Uh, now, what are the different variables and uh, and the functions we need in this? So variables uh, and uh, one more uh, important thing that ticket can be of two types, the VIP type and regular type. And uh, for that, we can create the enumerator and then we can store uh, the ticket information like the who is the owner of that ticket and what is the event ID and what is the ticket type. Right. So this is how we can create a structure of a ticket. So let's do the coding part. You can search on the Google Remix IDE, right? So this is a dashboard of a Remix ID. You can just go, uh, we go to the smart contract lab folder and create a new file and make it as ticket, ticket system, right? And you just uh, do one thing. Uh, so for specifying the lessons identifier, we have, uh, let me zoom it, let, uh, so for lessons, uh, for specifying the lesson, uh, license identifier, we have XPDX, XPDX, then license identifier. Uh, and here we have a uh, GPU 3.0, I guess. So let me check GPL, it's sorry, GPL 3.0, it's GPL. Oh, what happened? Sorry, GPL and dash GPL 3.0. GPL 3.0. It's done. And next is your version, Pragma Solidity. And the uh, you can specify the version 0.8.24. This is your latest compiler version. Next, just create a contract. And here uh, I'm creating a contract X ticket, ticket system, right? And just define its scope. Next, we have um Let me copy from here. I don't know, it's showing some error to it. So just copy from here. I don't know what changes, but okay. Next, uh, just declare uh, your uh, ticket type first. For that, we have an enumerator ticket type. And you just specify the value of uh, enumerator in curly braces, regular and VIP. There are two types of tickets. For zero, uh, we have a regular. So for one index, we have VIP ticket. And just create a ticket by using the structure. And here in structure, you define who is the owner that uh, owner of that ticket, uh, address owner, and then um, define this ticket is for which event, event ID should be there. And then and then we have a ticket type uh, for the enumerator type, ticket type, and here are the ticket. Ticket, right, like this. It should be of enumerator type. So we have two types of uh, tickets, regular 
and VIP. And let's do same thing. So for, for storing the multiple tickets, we use a, we will use an array, array of the structure type. So the structure is ticket. And because this is an array, so we have to use this uh, square brackets and this should be of public type and then issued tickets like this, right? Now, um, uh, for example, you are going for a particular event having ID one, but uh, you are showing them, uh, uh, you are showing them a ticket of the event of some other event. So for that, we need to check whether your uh, ticket is valid uh, on the basis of uh, the event ID or not, right? So for that, we will maintain one mapping to check whether that e uh, ticket is valid for a particular event ID or not, right? And also, you are uh, you are holding some address because in this uh, ticket system. Uh, we, uh, we are going to provide a transfer ticket ownership. So we have to maintain the owner of uh, the ticket along with the its type and ID. So for that, we will use a nested mapping. So how we are uh, we are going to use this. So first in uh, is your key value. So here key value is your owner. Who is the owner of that ticket, right? So this should be of key value. Now the value part. For value part, again, we have two uh, values here. So one is your event ID. And second for uh, checking is valid or not, true or false, right? So this is a, a nested mapping structure. So um, event ID should be of int type. That is your key and uh, for check uh, for uh, making uh, sure that this is a valid uh, ticket or not so we have to keep uh, uh, it as true or false so that's why it is bool, bool here and just um make this a uh, variable name as valid tickets right so this is how um I guess there is no need of braces here because we always specify a uh, key and value like this. So this is, yes, it's correct now. Now next is uh, uh, just work now all the functional, all the initial part, all the initial uh, things we uh, we have specified here. We have specified the ticket type and uh, the attributes of the ticket and also uh, array. Um, should be issued and array and then the nesting, uh, nested uh, mapping to check uh, whether that ticket is valid res in respect to the address or the event ID. Right, next, just to work on the function. So first function is your issue tickets. Issue uh, ticket, issue, issue ticket. And here, uh, when you are um, when you issue tickets, we have to specify all the details uh, that uh, we uh, we kept in this structure, right? So first uh, one, the address owner should be the owner who who call this function. And the first one is your uint type that uh, give the value to the event ID, event ID, and next is of ticket type that is your. enumerator like this, right? So we have two uh, parameters for this function and just keep this variable function as public. Now next, uh, we just uh, use uh, this array that is you issue dot tickets and we will use push, push function for just adding the details into an array. And because we are uh, this uh, this array, uh, is of so here it should be not dot sorry the name of the um, array is issue tickets and we will use dot dot push push function for adding the details into an array so this array is of which type the structure type because this is the object of this structure ticket so i have to uh, use this uh, structure called ticket and um, and specify all its variables value. And uh, in that case, you just need a curly braces and all very parameters should be separated by comma. So owner is your message dot sender and comma. Next is your event ID, event ID. Event ID is your event ID. Next we have a ticket type. So, 
ticket type is your ticket type underscore right it's done i guess so this is how you can add details uh, by using this um, array structure or um, array of a structure type right so uh, now uh, all the part of uh, we have uh, initialized all these uh, thing from the parameters now next is to um, um, make this valid ticket uh, use this valid tickets and uh, specify uh, the information in this mapping for the current owner so the current owner is message dot sender so here we will use two um, two square brackets one for this key and sec second one for this key so the first key specify uh, here is the message dot sender who is the owner and second key, uh, key specify the event id so event id we have a local variable for it and then equals to and this is the value value is here is true true like this so uh i have to maintain this valid uh, ticket information here so that we can check later on whether the ticket uh, uh is valid uh with respect to the address or the event or not right next uh so that's all for this issue ticket function so what we did we uh, took two parameters and then we use the a push function uh, of an array and uh, use the structure for uh, initializing all uh, the different attributes of a ticket right next function and what is our next function is ticket valid so is ticket valid is a very simple function because uh, we have all, already keeping that information in valid tickets so you just need to check if this is true or not return it if it is true that it me that means it is valid otherwise it is false so just create one function is ticket valid and here you just need to pass the address of the owner because we need these two information because these two information are are your keys key values first one is your owner and second one is your event id right next uh, make this variable as public and we can we, we can we just accessing the information not doing anything so just just uh, that's why just keep it as view and we return uh, we uh, we will return uh, returns the uh, boolean value uh, so it's your bool like this and then next and here we just return uh, the same thing that we did uh, above valid tickets and first a key is your owner so uh, owner so i have used here owners it should be owner like this should be first one next and next is your event id just keep it at event id and then equal to so that's all there is no equal to because it is returning that value so this is how you can check whether the ticket is valid or not by using this nested mapping in this first key values denotes your address who is the owner of the uh, ticket and second denotes the event id right next uh, function is the last function that is transfer of ticket ownership so let's uh, deal with this function now sorry extremely sorry function ticket ownership ownership transfer so here we will uh, use a ticket index because we are storing all the details of the tickets uh, in an array so we always uh, store uh, the values starting from index 0 so first uh, 0 index is your first ticket then second and so on and we also pass the address of your new owner so first pass uh, ticket index and second uh, pass the address of your new owner just keep this function as public like this right 
So first, uh, we check whether this in, uh, ticket index is valid or not by uh, by comparing it with the length because you already know this thing. If you have five elements in an array, so your index should be ranges uh, should be ranges from zero to four. That should be that means zero, one, two, three, four. All are, all values are less than five. So this is how you can check this uh, uh, index is valid or not. So here, the ticket index. Ticket index should be less than uh, issued tickets tickets dot length. Right? Next. If it is true, then it's fine. Otherwise, we will just display error messages. Invalid ticket index. So, that's all. Now uh, we uh, we will create one storage uh, type of variable for keeping all this information in it permanently, and then we will use it for accessing the different value for transferring the ownership. So uh, the name of your structure is ticket, right? And uh, it should be of storage type. And just I'm taking this variable as tick, right? Um, and then here uh, we have issued tickets and we are just passing the ticket index under it so that we can store this particular information in it because we have multiple values in our array so we are just uh, wanting that information in this tick uh, that is uh, that is called by uh, by this function for example if you are pa passing the index value as zero if you just want to work on this zero value and keep this information and just update this information with the new owner information right so that's why we just created uh, created one uh, uh, one variable and it's of which type the structure type and we are keeping it as a storage because it stores uh, it will store all information permanently on the blockchain structure right next uh, so just use this and before using this we want to check one more thing whether this function uh, is called by uh, the owner of uh, or not so for that uh, uh, we just take message dot sender should be equal to equal to tick tick dot owner like this if it is equal then only uh, it's fine otherwise you just need to display the error message only the owner can call this function right done now just transfer the ownership as uh, tick dot owner equal to new owner right and just also check uh just update the valid tickets as well so uh valid ticket for the new owner valid ticket dot uh for the new owner should be new owner and here the event id as um, ticket dot tick dot event dot event id is equal to true and for the actual owner, you just make this information as false sender. It should be sender and here tick dot event ID. It should be false. I hope you are getting this information. We are uh, for the should be tickets. Yes, for the new owner, uh, we uh, uh, we have maintained the valid tickets as true. And for the uh, old owner, we just uh, uh, kept that information as false because now it's that owner is no longer associated with this uh, ticket, right? So this is how we can update or transfer the ownership. So that's all we have done all the functions. So just uh, compile it first. It's compiled and just deploy it. So deploy it. It's it is deployed, right? And now just check the different functionality. First, uh, issue. Uh, let me issue one ticket. So we have a issue ticket. So here the event ID is one zero one. I'm just keeping it as a random, and ticket type is uh, one. That I want a VIP ticket. So issue tickets done, right? Next, um, 
I want to issue one more ticket. So its ID is 102 and it should be of regular type issue tickets. Now, uh, if you want to check uh, uh, issue tickets, just specify the index here, zero, and just uh, press it. So he is the owner, event ID is this, ticket type is one. And if you want to uh, check for the one as well, you can check it here. So now event ID is this. Now I want to transfer the ownership to some other person. You just take this address as and make sure you are using uh, calling this function from the owner address. So ticket index should be um, I'm passing as zero and uh, uh, the new address is this address and just transfer the ownership. Now um, you can check uh, for the zero uh, ticket that Yes, and now the address is changed here. It's zero AX is the new owner, new owner and event ID is 101, ticket type is this. Now, if you want to check the, um, uh, check whether the ticket is valid or not. So let's uh, do this. Just uh, copy the address of the old owner and ID as one, right? ID as uh, zero, sorry, ID as zero. So is ticket valid? It's, it is false. It's false means, uh, that means that ticket is not valid uh, because we have transferred the ownership. Now, all right, so that's all uh, from my side. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.